Welcome to podcast number 162. I feel like I'm off screen. Is that better? I think so. Mm. There you go. Maybe I'll just move the camera over a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, we should have done this earlier. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. Podcast 162. Yes. Welcome. Welcome to returning viewers. Welcome back. And if you're brand new, welcome to our channel. Uh, it's the Knitting Place podcast. My name is Dinah. You can find me at the Knitting Place on Instagram, Ravelry, and Facebook. My name is Pam, and I'm Pam Sapp on Ravelry and Instagram, and Pam Sappians on Facebook. Sorry, this is really irking me. What? That you're off? Yeah. But why there is we that? Go. We move it, and then you're still off. I don't know. Looks good. I think that's better. There you go. Okay. We're ready. Now we're ready. So what's happening, Dinah? Nothing. It's just another what's Monday. Happening? Well, it's Monday right now. Right. Ten, it's Monday. It's Monday. Uh, what's today's date? 23rd. 23rd. October 23rd, which means Sweater Freak Second Clue came out today. Oh, that's right. For that's her right. mystery knit along, for Di those of you who are joining. Diner and I cast on on Saturday. She had a no, no Rhinebeck, no problem. Is that what she called it? No Rhinebeck, no problem. Mm -hmm. Knit along. It's the third year she's done it. And um, I think each year it's been a cowl. And, you know, it's four clues spread over about 10 days. And um, I went back to look at the dates, by the way. Mm -hmm. I think November 2nd or 3rd is the reveal. Right. But the clue, the clue is out comes before out before. That. Yes. Right, right, that's right. why I was confused. So I just wanted to correct myself. Does that mean we're supposed to be done by that date? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, uh, you're in better shape than I am. Well, the second clue came out like 12 hours ago. So technically I'm behind. Um, but we're having fun with it, right, Dinah? Definitely. It was nice to have something to do. I I definitely had a little bit of FOMO over the weekend. Did with you really? Back. I did. I did. I let, I really, I have to say, it was so wonderful connecting with everyone. Mm. Um, Are you talking about when we did the live? When we did the live. It was nice. Well, that, that was fun. That we was didn't a, have to get wet to do it. We didn't have to get wet, but it was. All, we didn't have to drive three hours. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And three hours back, home. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, so there were pros and cons, of course. It's always nice to put a face to the name, but it was certainly lovely to connect with people that weren't necessarily there, although we did have a few of our peeps that did connect with us while they were at, um, at Rhinebeck. Right, right. So that was fun. Um, yeah. So I guess this week will be all about on social media. I think that's what really gets me. Oh, what they got? Yeah, when people show their haul and what we missed and I don't know. Although it seemed as though, I don't know, I was reading a little chit-chat about woolen folk. I don't know what happened there. Um, and I don't know how Cake Palooza, you know, we didn't speak to anyone yet. Yeah, so the shop yeah. hasn't been open well, yet. Well, you know, I think the thing is you have Rhinebeck and now there have been three events three that events, sprouted right. out of Rhinebeck that you can do ahead of Rhinebeck. Correct. Personally, I find it a bit overwhelming. I it really is do. overwhelming. You know, if you got the three events on one day, how do you get to all three of them? Then you've got Rhinebeck the next day. No, well, it, it's Will and Folk Thursday. Oh, Cape is that Palooza Thursday? Friday, no, Rhinebeck was... Saturday, Sunday. But now you need to take four days off. That's no, a lot. No, but you've got India Entangled. Is that still going yeah, on? Yeah, it's India Entangled. When? That was on Friday. Are you sure? I'm positive. I'm a thousand. I, am, I don't know. Maybe. Ruby and Roses was at India Entangled. Okay, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And it's funny that everyone, like Chelsea, was at Cake Palooza, I think. Wool and, what's the other one? Wool and what? Wool and Folk. Wool I don't and know folk. who was there. I think that had um, Lem and the Kid and people like that. So they were all different ones, you know, so. I'm not um, sure. It's just hard, you know, and I can see the why people want to go because someone like, the, say, the Lem and the Kid. She doesn't sell retail. She sells retail. She sells only retail. But, I mean, you have to order it online so they can never get to see the yarn right. in person. So if you're so there. If you're here, you know. Right. But it does require you to take a couple of days off if you're oh, working. Of course. Which is yeah. a little challenging. Yeah, well, that, that's that's yeah. also the thing, too. Right. And then it's where to stay. That has always been challenging as well. If you want to stay overnight, that is. Yes. Maybe next year will be my year to go. We'll there see. You go. <laughs> It go. didn't work out. This year, I actually, over the weekend, I mean, it rained Saturday, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Sunday, we took a drive out east. Oh, you we did? We took my mom. Nice. And uh, my my friends came with their mom, and all six of us walked 
oh, in town nice. out east in East Hampton. Oh, that's nice. Actually, it was Southampton, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know all the Hamptons. No, I don't need them. But it was nice time. out. We went for a brisk walk. Nice. I wanted to walk on the beach so badly. But you couldn't go on the beach? Too windy. Oh, yeah. It was windy it was yesterday. Really, yeah, it was really windy. windy. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. I love the great outdoors. So it was nice to... Well, it's a great time of year. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yes, so today <clears> was a, a very nice day. It was the chilliest day we've had so far this fall. It was like 46 degrees this yes, morning. Yes, this morning. Mm -hmm. I wanted to walk in with the morning. With a breeze, with a breeze. And I, it was I, chilly. I did my treadmill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a chilly day. Yeah. But um, anyway, it was, a, it, was a nice, it was a nice day. You know, it was a nice day. What did, did I get a ton weekend? of weekend? A weekend, listen to me. Did I get a ton of knitting done? No. Yesterday, I almost did no knitting because um, I went to church and then Lucy's came with us because Emily had a birthday party for Olive. Oh, Not cute. for her. With for her. One of her friends. Then we did a swap palooza in the middle of that because Emily had told Lucy they could get their nails done. Oh, how cute. So, so then, then you I got took Olive. Olive and Lucy went back. And then, so then, but you know, I spent the afternoon cooking. Why? I prepped some things for during, you know when you buy during things, like you buy vegetables. Yes. And you want to cook them up. So I started with that. And then I told Olive who's a picky eater. I made some sauce for a pas some pasta for her. And then I had Was she excited? some stew meat that I, you know, I figured if I made it, it would be there for dinner, you know. Yeah, she, was, she ate it. She, did she ate the she pasta. Did good. She ate the pasta. So that was my afternoon, was cooking and dishes and whatever. And by the time I sat down to knit, it was 7.30. Well, how depressing is that? I was, I and then you're tired, then yeah. you're tired, right. that's the thing, you're I've tired. I passed out, so we did that big walk, yes. I passed out at 9 o'clock. Did you? 9 o'clock. And you went I'm to bed at 9 o'clock? I went, I oh, fell asleep on the sofa. I could be I tired, I, but I wouldn't go to bed at 9 o'clock. I thought I, of course, I tried to take my knitting out, and I passed out. Well. Then at 1 in the morning, my husband's like, Dinah, are you coming upstairs? 1 o'clock in the morning? I was out, like oh a light. Oh my God. And then I went upstairs. And you went out again? Until seven this oh a quarter to seven you this are morning. A Dinah is a deep sleeper. I she think I'm is a good caught sleeper. Up on you my don't jet have lag. to worry about Dinah if you're sharing a hotel room with her. <laughs> if you want to watch something on your, Late your night. iPad or something or you know, whatever, <laughs> keep the I light snore? on. It doesn't bother her at all. She goes right to sleep. It's crazy, right? I know it is. You should always be that way. God bless you. But um uh, I knit on my, well, this is the advantage when you have some easier knitting, like the Soho Square is not difficult knitting. Right. So when I did sit down to knit, I wanted something mindless. Mindless. So I, I did that. And um, then I said, I have to go to one of my squares. So then I picked up my halfway done square and I did maybe a quarter more on it. Okay. But I was just, you know, you know how it is, you know, just, I just was too tired to do it. I, I can't knit that at it. night. That's definitely a morning knit for yeah, me because that's I, high I, concentration. Yeah, I don't have a lot of morning knit time, so that's my problem. But tomorrow is a conference day at school. What time do you have to be there? Uh, well, they have breakfast at 8. I'm not going for breakfast. I can show up at 8.30. You know, okay, I, I so mean, I don't morning. need to go there and have breakfast. Well, so you, yeah, but I never knit in the morning anymore. I don't oh, really? knit in the morning. Unless I've gotten enough sleep that I wake up early, you know, Morning's which is unusual. Out. But um, in any event, I maybe I'll take... Um, I would take the girls' crochet blankets, but they're getting too big to take with me to do comfortably. Maybe I'll take the Soho tomorrow. Soho is probably mine. Well, maybe I'll take the Escher. Is that mine? Don't though. do that. Mm. Maybe the mistake. mystery knit along. Oh, if the clue, because very, you have to get the clue done. Very good, Dinah. Oh, there that's go. very good. <laughs> <laughs> so there, I have two choices. Okay. It's all day. It's all day. Wow. Are you allowed to knit while you're there? Well, I'm in the auditorium for the first until like 1030. So that, I mean, if I, if I don't sit up front, I sit in the back. Yeah, I could probably knit. Okay. I could. Anyway, yeah, I so that's an advantage. I definitely concentrate better when I'm knitting in that I, kind of an environment. I used to say that all the time. I would have board meetings at church and I'd say, if only I could knit. I could really concentrate better. Be, right? It's so boring when you're sitting there listening and Get your hands easily are... easily distracted. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. hate that. I, I do not like that. As I'm knitting right now. There you go. There you go. Well, you see, I can't knit. I don't have anything to knit on it. Um, I don't know what it is, at least. Should we start with what we're wearing? Mm-hmm. I'm wearing the Sophie scarf, the original. Let's put it that way, the original, the first one. Yes, the scarf. Since then, there have been a lot of other patterns that are similar to this, not all the same. But um, I used the Echo Cashmere from Blue Sky, one skein. 
which I think is 100, it's 160 yards of skein, I think is what it is. So I did that. I love this. It's a nice little thing on your neck that keeps your neck warm, but it 100%. doesn't bulk you up. And that's what I'm wearing. Beautiful. What are you wearing? I'm wearing Starting Point. It's mm -hmm. designed by Hohe Locatelli. You got to take that off though, Diana. Okay. And show them. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. So I wore it because I wanted to show everyone how it's not quite exactly the same, but it's certainly inspired with my new mystery knit along. I love the colors of this. Love it. This is very autumnal. So not my colorway. No, it's not. But I absolutely love it. I wear it a lot. Um, I was just telling Pam, I feel like last year, I didn't pull my shawls out early enough. Right, now you're enjoying This year, them. I'm totally enjoying them. I'm making... Did you wear one out east yesterday? What did I wear? I wore this out yesterday. Oh, yes, Good. so it was out. I See. wore this out. And then on Saturday, when we did our Instagram Live, I wore the Morgana shawl. That was lovely. Which is another beauty. Now, I think the way this was knit, you had two pieces. This and is they super fun. in the center, correct? This was a mystery knit along. You started here. Was this a mystery? Yes. Hmm. And you worked towards the center. Different stitches. To here. Then you worked the other side, where Pam is. And you worked the same way towards the center. And then you picked up these stitches and you, and you worked this way. Yeah. And then you picked up these stitches and you worked this way. Super fun. What was it, five skeins? Four skeins of fingering four. weight it's yarn. Only four, that's not Yes. Good. Oh no, it's five, you're it right. It's five, one, It's two. five, I apologize, it's five. It's five, there's the ivory, the gold, the eggplant, the rust, and then the speckled. And the speckled. Yeah, and this is, um, I mean, you, you I, the speckled is like a hedgehog, isn't it? I think it was hedgehog. The but whole thing? I don't think the whole thing was hedgehog. No, no some no, were hedgehog. No, 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 no. Some were Madeline Tosh. Right. Um, it's a great shot. It's a great shot. I don't know if the orange actually was, uh, what's that company? Murky Depths? No, I no didn't we didn't so. have Murky didn't, Depths at the time. DK, yeah, 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 no, I didn't have Murky Depths no, at the I time. I think it was all he uh, Madeline Tosh with some Madeline hedgehog. Tosh and Hedgehog yeah. I blended. Yeah. But the, super fun, a fun knit. This reminds me of that shawl of hers that I think was after this that is similar, but it's suburban got the wrap. arrow. Oh, the, so that's the other one. No, you did the suburban wrap. Suburban wrap, yeah. That was a beauty. That was just going yeah. in one direction. To one direction, right. But she like did an have, arrow. Right. She did have another one with like eyelets. We'll have to look it up. Yeah. But that's what I'm wearing. I love shawls. I certainly knit enough of them. <laughs> there you go. And again, to... Diana was commenting just before we went live, when we before you started recording that we match. I know. Again, what are the chances? I was going to wear my other sweaters, but they were too heavy for today. So yeah, I went for short sleeves today. I couldn't wear them today. It was too hot. I would have been dying. I brought so a... Well, yep. had no, so no. I wasn't going to say anything. No. I, was, I wore a sweater, which is unusual for me. One that I oh, you did off, not though. knit. Yeah. But like a layering piece, which is unusual for me. Yeah, usually I just do that. Diana usually runs hot. Yeah. Anyway, it was cold in the morning, which is why I have this on. So, what shall else? we get into whips? Sure, let's talk about what it. Well, you're whipping, Pam. Well, of course, we talked about this, and I should say I'm Tell using them what it is. Madeline. It, this is the um, No Rhinebeck, No Problem cowl from uh, Mystery Cowl from Sweater Freak. And I am using Madeline Tosh DK. She calls for DK weight yarn. And this is the glazed pecan, the beautiful glazed pecan. I had a skein at home. So I can say I... Do we have the sheet with the mystery? Decreased Maybe we my stash. Said, Do, I don't think we printed it out, did we? Did we? I don't think we printed it out. No, I think you're right. We just I can print it, it out while we're talking. No, I was going to... Um, interject and say if someone is knitting it because it's a mystery maybe it's like a spoiler alert yeah maybe we shouldn't do that so well i will put okay. down before you know skip if you're doing the clues okay yeah, yeah, yeah. spoiler alert okay so anyway i'm using what yarn are you using you can show them the same. sure i'm using fleck and again spoiler alert so what we'll do is i'll put um a little note ahead of time because we're going to show it. This is the way the fleck looks knit yeah, up. Yeah. And it's a DK weight ivory. Uh, I'm not through the first clue, but the second clue did drop today. I'm excited. When is the clue after that? Thursday? I think it might be the 26th. 
That's Thursday. Yeah. Then the 29th, I think, right. is the last one. Sunday. That, yeah. It's done. It's like a week. See how much we can do. It's all good. <laughs> I'm excited. So that's it's our fun. first it's web. Fun. At yes. least we feel accomplished if we finished it. Yeah. It was really nice. I think while we were on the live, a few people were inspired to knit it. And it was cute because people were saying they were head already cast on, and we asked them what they were using. So some yeah, people there were quite had a few people yes, doing it. I was it. really, I was really surprised, which is lovely. Yeah, which is really nice because not everyone can go to Rhinebeck, and right. it was just something fun to do that unified exactly. everyone. Puts ever and of course when we went, well, it's funny because we went live and a bunch of people that were at Rhinebeck went on the live. Didn't so expect it was all those a perfect, people to be on. But you actually. know what? The timing it wasn't planned. I but I think the clock, timing like was perfect. Five, yeah, because they were yeah. probably finishing up at the the fairgrounds and right. you know, whatever. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You want to show another whip? Well, I have. Well, I'm not going to show it, and I know Dinah has, and she's not going to show it. The squares. Yes, the heirloom. So Pam and I have been working on the heirloom quilt. Do we have that picture? Here. I just saw it. I think is that it? No. no. I'll find it. It's here. Um, the heirloom quilt. It's designed by Katrin Seeberger. It's a beautiful pattern. It's uh, it looks like a quilt. It's uh, knit in different squares and then they're assembled together. You pick up and you knit the sleeves and the ribbing and the border. I have been very good at keeping up with my squares. I've been trying to do a square a day. It's not the cover page though, but uh, here's a glimpse of what it looks like. These are the heirloom squares, and there's the sleeve. So Pam and I are hosting it along. So we have been working on our squares. We've showed them to you last week. There's no sense in showing them again. Right. Well, we Maybe have next progress. week. Yes, I think I might start to sew some of my squares together. How many squares do you have? I just um, have 10. 10? 11? Oh my God, like 11. I have six. I don't <laughs> even have six. Matter. Forget it, doesn't you sew yours together. I'll start sewing, I think, uh, because for the next class, we're going to be picking up our sleeve stitches. Mm -hmm. So I've been trying to make my way so Around. that we have a pickup. Yes. Right. And yeah, just been trying to be very good about it. Very intentional. Very intentional. How long does it take you to knit a square? So it's funny. I think someone had asked me, and I think I said an hour and a half. But to it's knit a square? It's definitely longer. <laughs> it's like two hours. <laughs> two hours. No? I don't know if I did it in two hours. I don't think I could do it. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I'm very intentional when I knit it. I'm looking at the clock because if I don't, it's almost like I'm trying to time myself because I have ADD and I get easily distracted. I've done one in an evening, but the thing is, have I knit straight through? I mean, I've stopped exactly. and done things. So, I mean, I know I started one once at 10 and I finished at like one you know one but I mean was I knitting straight the whole time I, I don't remember right now I think it takes me half to get halfway it's about an hour halfway I could do I yeah that I find the beginning part but then you faster. tie her out yeah yeah you teeter out right. because it's yeah. intense yeah so I'm not necessarily doing it in one sitting a whole square no mm. are you kidding <laughs> <laughs> That's my ADD. Then I'm like, oh, let me pick up my new cast well, on. you know what it is, Let too. me do a stripe on my mystery knit along. Even if it took you two hours or two and a half hours to knit it, you finish it two and a half hours and you look at it and you've got a five by five square. And I'm thinking to myself, well, what could I have done if I wasn't knitting a five by five square? Like if we were knitting the Soho square. Can you imagine how much Correct. progress we'd make? Correct. Right, right, right. So everything's, I mean, but that's not to say, I mean, it's also the kind of project, too, that you say, well, let me get, I'm um, um, two-thirds of the way through it. Let me finish it, you know. You want to finish it because you want to move along. Right. But anyway, Excellent. so that's another whip. What else do you have, Dinah? Uh, what do I have? So we showed you this. I do have, okay, another spoiler alert. This is the Geo Gradient Mystery Knit Along from Stephen West. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you don't want to watch, you can fast forward. I'm still on clue two. Ooh. I have completed one side of clue two. So one side is two edges. Yes. And now I'm on the other side, but I've only done one repeat and I still have to do two more. So I'm oh, certainly okay. not on point. Excuse You're me, getting but getting there. 
super fun. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot of knitting as it usually is with Steven. Okay. And that's okay. That's fine. Because it's not a race. Yep. There you go. So that is my West Knits uh, Mystery Knit Along, the Geo Gradient. I'm using Madeline Tosh. The four colors are Lay. Um, L-A-I. Yes. Uh, what was that one called? I don't know. I don't know any of the names of those. I think this one is Edison Bulb. Okay. I don't, maybe Neon Peach. And I forgot what that one is called. I'll have Pretty. to. Yeah. You, have it, you have it on your page though, right? I didn't create a pattern page yet. I really should. Project page. You will. I will. There you go. Um, another whip, which I'm not going to show you, is my, my Escher Dream because it's not done. And you've all seen it. It's Madeline Tosh DK. It's a houndstooth pattern. And um, that's what it is. I have to say that this is not feeling uh, much love lately because <laughs> where our love is divided. That's the problem when you have too many cast on. But there it is. It's lovely. I brought my um, cowl. It's on the mannequin. Oh, okay. Where is, is it? Behind it? me. Yes. There so is. there is the um Can well, you reach it? No. I can get it. It's okay. It's kind of hard to see the detail. It's a dark color. Because it is dark. Yeah. But so this would be mine in the Escher's Dream scarf, and Dinah has the Escher's cowl. Pam has sand and onyx, and I have the olive green. And the onyx. And, and the see onyx. How, show them how the bottom ribbing is. So it's really cute yeah. because what mm -hmm. she's done is she's inverted. I don't know if you can see it, but this here, the black, is the background color. And you have the houndstooth and the olive. And then it switches. Can't Olive is tell. the background color. It's funny, right? Yeah, you can't and even then tell. black is the hound's tooth. So super fun. I think when you go this way, you actually see it a lot more. Was that two skeins of um, one of each? Yeah, that's not bad. So For Escher's Dream cowl. cowl. Pretty. And this is the Escher's Dream scarf. So that's another whip. What else do you have, Diana? Uh, I have my Malin. I didn't give it a lot of love. But I did cast on for Sleeve Island. Oh, you did? Good. Yep. I didn't get very far. So the cap sleeve included a lot of short rows. It did? Yes. So right up here, and you can't really see it because of the black. Mm, there are it you is. talking about in here? Yes. So what she does is she has you pick up stitches and uh, all the way around, and then you start at the top of the cap, and you're doing short rows. Mm until you get all the way in the round. Oh, nice. So, that so this required... was part of your, this was your pickup for your yes, sleeve. Yes, yeah, starting mm. up here, right up here from the saddle. Uh, that required a lot of attention because of the short rows. Of course, of course. It changes, yep, the needle yep. changes. So hopefully now I'll get cruising. These sleeves will and... be done. That is so pretty. Yeah. So getting there. Slowly but surely, I guess now, that the pattern is out, I'm not as motivated. I notice that <laughs> I'm very motivated when there's a deadline, and mm -hmm. as you can see, when there's no more deadline, I, know, I, <laughs> I know. tend to teeter out. Well, that happens too. So that, that is my Malin. Priority. It's designed by Natasha Hornby. There you go. I'm using Carabella Aurora Eight, and we will get to making kits for it. Yeah, yeah. That looks like a great knit. And then last but not least, Soho Square. We both have that. Let's do it. it. Let's do it. Do it together. Um, oh, I have one more actually. My sock. Yeah. Well, let's do this. And okay. We'll do yeah. This yeah. Sock. Go ahead. Um, I did make it, make it through the first half, and I have it's still on the needle, so it's scrunched up a bit. But I did turn the corner to come on my. Look at how color. pretty. Isn't it pretty? So and we have wonderful news. Our exciting news is both Pam and I, mm -hmm. if you've been following, we've been knitting along with Fua Fua. Mm -hmm. Now Pam did something slightly different than, my, than I did, mm -hmm. and we will write our notes down on Ravelry, mm -hmm. and if you decide that you'd like to purchase a kit, yep. you'll have the oh, details. Oh, shoot. What did I drop? Did I drop? <gasps> I dropped stitches there. It looks like you did. Oh, oh my, my glasses on. Goodness gracious me. Excuse me. I will me. show mine. I'm about at the same spot. I've done the first half. 
I used toffee, electric pink candy, hot pink, and now I've turned the corner and I'm using the navy. Oh, pretty. Isn't that pretty? High contrast. Um, and now I'm working my way down. There you go. And it's funny. I thought it was going to be small, but it no, isn't. No, I, you know, I took this edge, Dinah, and I measured I'm which like edge. I'm like 35 inches. I took this. Is yours? Which edge am I looking for now? The, the side straight, one. The straight edge. Yes. This edge. This, like this, is almost 40 inches. Yeah, if I stretch it of out, course, of course. it's crazy yeah. how big it is. Right. It's so light. This is going to be so fun to wear. It's going to be a great one to wear. Yeah. I could see another one in my future. But I think yes. after I'm done with this, I might do a wink. A wink will be fun because wink would it's be just fun a cute, it's a small little small accessory. Right. Mm -hmm. right, right, right. So I'm looking forward to that. And I used, um, my green is the Suburban Stitches, what's it called? Surrey? Surrey Silk. Surrey Silk. And it's in the Tuva colorway. I have to put that up on Ravelry. I haven't put it up Me on too. Ravelry yet. I want to put my, so what I did was, um, I'll be able to t give you um, my modifications if you decide to use the Fua Fua. Right. If you, if, if you use the Suburban. You don't have an issue. You have an issue. And if you use the Fua Fua as the stripes, you certainly don't have an issue either. Right. Correct. So it would only be way. if you had an issue. Um, if you used Fua Fua for the main color, that's when you'd have to look at the modifications. And Pam and I did two different things. So you certainly could look at both pages. This is what I had left. I didn't weigh it, which I wanted to, but I didn't. Let me find mine. I would mean, that be enough for the wink? I knew how many ounces I used. I don't know. There you go. I bet you they weigh about the same. <laughs> Yours is wound tighter. <laughs> Mine's wound tighter. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so uh, we can uh, we'll put all that stuff on Ravelry. Hot? Hot? <laughs> Are you really? Of course. Yeah. Um, so anyway, you have another another. Yes. Whip. So I do oh, have. You have a partial yeah. FO. Not really, because I didn't actually do the Kitchener. But Zach's first sock is Ooh, done. Look at that. I need to Kitchener the toe. Oh, nice. Now, are you going to so, Kitchener the toe before you cast on the next sock? I have to because I need the oh, needle. you need the needle. Stupid question. And I have all these ends to even, which is not going to be fun. Where are the ends? On the inside. Mm. So I've done the top of the sock. Oh, well, that's good. But that I need to do the foot. Okay. Yeah, you have How to do cute. that because, you know, you can't wear that with those ends. How cute is that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pam, I don't mean to be. That's okay. I love it. He's so excited. So now I have to cast on the next one. Has he tried it on since you've gotten that phone? No. No. He hasn't seen that. He hasn't seen so no. excited. He's going to be excited. He is. So Good there's my first sock. Good. And that's it. That's it for our Those whips are the whips. whips. Yes. Unfortunately, more whips than FOs. But hey, listen, it's that time of year. That's okay. If you don't have a lot of whips at this time of year, right? We could show FOs that our clients have made. Yeah, we can do that. What was the what, oh? We have one on the mannequin right here. This one, this one is called the Arika Cowl. I'm too hot to slip it on. it on. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> it was so knit fun. with was it two skeins? Yeah. I love that piece. I believe it's two skeins. Two skeins of Roma, which is really it's nice. Cotton, like a tape. A cotton tape, and right. if you could see, it's got a little speckle in there. It's like a little, very hint of metallic bronzy, uh, bronze bronzy color. Yeah speckle uh, it's got French Pam you've knit that before. I've knit this now it, this looks different in well it's the same but the um, yarn looks quite different than what you might see on the one when you look on Ravelry because they're using a thicker yarn right and we used it with a thinner yarn because we thought it would be nice it's beautiful in a thinner yarn and uh, it's much it's very wearable you want to explain to them how it's knit it's got like a lace pattern yeah, yeah. And it's knit as a, like a scarf it starts from this it's part. an asymmetrical this cowl. is your seam and it starts just like with a, a rib uh, a ribbing of some sort and then i believe the stitches increase and you go into the lace pattern for a certain number of inches and then there you you sew the straight the beginning cast on to again if you look um to the lace could see that there and very pretty could, now i mean you, you don't have to tassel it or maybe i to. see it now because my glasses are on 
And <laughs> now you can see it, right? It's a very easy knit. It's a fun I'm knit. Them up. You know, and um, there you go. Pretty. And it's nice, again, another piece that's not bulky in the back of the neck. Right. If you look at, you know, you see all the fabric in the front. In the back, it's actually very skinny because of it, the ribbing. It, yeah, and the fringe only goes, you can see from. It just covers the front. Yep, from there to there. Right. So it's a fun piece, small, quick, great holiday gift. Yep. Yeah, it is. And it's great, especially if you live in a warmer climate, too, or if you don't want something too hot around your neck. Right. You know. So there you go. It's the Eureka. I think it's A-R-I-K-A. -A, Correct. I think what the spelling is, if you're looking for it on Ravelry. I know well, we used to include have it. I think we still do. do Maybe we'll include it in the show notes because we show the FOs mm -hmm. just so that people know what they are. Exactly. So yeah. Always remember that if you're interested in something um, in the show notes below, we usually um, write the name of the pattern uh, of what we're working on, that who designed it on Ravelry and the link to Ravelry, as well as the yarn or the kit that we used. <clears throat> Is it still there? No. Oh, really? No, it's not on the website now. Okay. But what yarn was this called? Roma. Roma. Mm -hmm. R-O-M-A. Again, you could go on the website and buy two skeins of Roma. Correct. I'm hoping that Roma is on the website, though. Should be. We should, we'll just do a quick Did you check. look in kits? Yeah, I did. R-O-M-A. Well, I'm going to show you another. Roma is listed, and Roma is on sale. Nice. Two skeins. Two skeins. It is on sale. Um, this is a bias baby blanket by one of our customers. She knitted in Comfort, which is a beautiful machine washable yarn. She used four skeins, four different colors of Comfort by Barocco, navy, blue, white, and gray. And she did, I guess, a sequence to the center, and then it looks like she striped, and she worked her way back out. Made so this that. is fun. Marnie. Oh, nice. Uh, so she did a beautiful job. Bias baby blanket. It's knit corner to corner. You increase to the widest part and then you begin your decrease. There's no, we have a pattern for it, but she decided to go off pattern with the um, stripes. Right. So you can do and build your and own. And there are also, I have to say, there are a bunch of patterns on Ravelry for bias blankets. Yes. And there's different, you know, yes. you can certainly look there as well. Absolutely. That's a great count. Um, what else do we have? I think we have the anchor sweater. Yes, we do. What customer made the anchor, but she made a long sleeve version. Yes. So that's nice. We and need she to give used, that some steam. Um, she, what was that? We need to give it some steam. Yeah, we do. I believe she is simply worsted. Yeah. Which is for a, this one, yeah. which is a little bit heavier. So I think she wanted a heavier weight mm -hmm. and, uh, it's for a child. It's lovely though. Yeah. Is it really? I believe so. Oh, nice. Betty did a nice job. Yes. God bless her. So there you go. That's the Anchor Summer Shirt mm -hmm. um, in long sleeve version. Yep. And I believe it's for a child. There you go. So that's all we have so far in the FOs that are beautiful customers knit. And I guess we can go into kits. Yes. Oh, we did, we did do two kits, right, Diana? Yes. We had to show you a kit, first of all, for the Sophie. A uh, Sophie. Soho. Yes, so square. that's right. We should we could have showed them. Yeah. So the Soho Square is what Pam and I are um, knitting. It's designed by Jackie Rose. The pattern is available on Ravelry. And I should say she's got amazing YouTube videos that um, help you through it. Uh, so if you're not sure, it's still a very easy knit. And the fact that she has the videos along with the pattern are wonderful. Uh, this is the kit that I am knitting. It's navy hot pink, electric pink candy, and toffee. Super fun. And this is the kit that I am doing, which is spruce with carrot, toffee, and tuba. Beautiful. Those are my colors. So there's yes. a kit of, for that colorway available. And I believe something moved over here, Diana. Let me give you this first. This kit is fun. So now with these kits, you can use the colors any which way. Like for example, let's say my intention is that red velvet is on one triangle and the sea spray is the other. We put the stripes as, or I'm suggesting the stripes to be the creamsicle and the blood orange. But if you wanted to make your two 
your two um, you could do anything. triangles, the orange and the yellow, your stripes can certainly be the red velvet and the sea spray. So with one of each, you can pick what you want. Um, and yeah, there is no right or wrong. There you go. I'll take that one back. And you can do this one. Sure. This next one, I thought the two dark uh, triangles, you could start with the main color one is shadow. And then I was thinking electric Barbie and electric berry for the stripes. And then I thought the main color two on the other side could be the plum. And of course you could reverse it and you could make the two inside pinks as the, yes, the outside. They're at, right, because they both shade, yeah. Right, and put the darker colors as the stripes. So. You certainly can do that too. too. There's no right or wrong. Exactly, it's whatever you like, right? Yes. Do you want me to continue? Yes, please. I'm going to grab these okay. while you're doing that. Now this one, you could really do anything. I'll start with navy. This is magenta, electric pink candy, and dark brown. But any which way will work. Of course. You can do it like this. There's no right or wrong. Here you go. Take That's a that. pretty neutral. Get rid of these. For this one, we were thinking the outer colors would be blue slate. The two stripes in the middle, uh, silver and sand, which are nice and soft. This is definitely a very neutral, soft kit. And this colorway here is um, cappuccino. So let's see. There it is. Very soft. Back here, it's getting a little blown out, but right. there you could see the colors. Mm -hmm. Very subtle in two the stripes. Neutrals, yeah. Uh, this one? Yeah. Uh, this one here is gorgeous. This is the take on Pam's. This is the dark spruce. We put that with carrot. This is a new color called Oriet. And then sea spray. Such a great color. This is a beautiful kit. The Oriet. It's a yeah. brighter, it's a, more, a brighter version of yes, the, the toffee. Little, yeah. yeah, you can There's see the, the difference. difference. Yeah. Very pretty, but it right. looks gorgeous. Very and this similar. is another new mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. So all the new colors are available on the website. If you, um, you hear a color, yes, well. mm -hmm. you can also build your own. This one here is called Shadow. And then we have Baby Rose, Electric Berry, I like this kit, and Plum. Mm. That's a gorgeous one. Pretty. Okay. So there you go. So those are the Soho, the Soho Square. Square kits that we just added in Fua Fua. Again, we have our original kits, so if you've been... Um, watching us you might have seen that we've covered this already before you can go and look at all the kits now and if we have inspired you you can check them out there you go next up there's a new pattern designed by amy christopher's by the way this is a picture of the soho square there you go there's jackie holding it up very pretty and that's her i don't know if she's got the shawl there or the square I think she's got, the, I thought it was the square, but no, the shawl. I thought this it was looks the like shawl. the shawl. It looks it bigger. Was the shawl. So she's got them in three sizes, the mm -hmm. wink, the square, and the shawl. Correct. Pam and I are both knitting the square. The square. Okay, so next up, Amy Christopher's designed a new shawl. It's called Hesper, H-E-S-P-E-R. It's a mosaic shawl, and we've made some kits for you. Calls for sport weight yarn. Mm -hmm. I think it was six hundred and six hundred and fifty on the main color and five fifty on the contrast color. There you, go. there you go. And so we did that. We did some kits and we made it out of. Um, of course, now I want my shawl. I know it's chilly. Are you chilly? <laughs> You know, after a hot flash, you always like. Cool of course, off. of that, and that—that that is true. That is true. You feel like you're in air conditioning. It's true about that. I will Back agree with my you. My neck. I should let my hair down. We we used the um, course call for sport weight. We just thought that this non the non superwash weld would be lovely, and this is color navy. It's four skeins of navy, but I'm not going to hold all four because my hand's not big enough. Four skeins of navy weld. And then we put that with uh, Hot and Heavy. This is Versus. Now That's the nice pretty. thing about this particular scarf is that both of the yarns are on sale. <laughs> so that'll give you an idea. Yeah, what you're gonna get. Yeah. Of the... And of course here are the other two skeins of that. 
Like if you wanted to see how it would speckle mm -hmm. out, that's mm -hmm. kind of it. Yep. Very pretty. Yeah. So that's one way. Uh, let me give you another way down. So here it is up close if you want to see the mosaic knitting. Which is there you go. All right. So we're back. And we're going to show you the rest of the kits for the Hesh Hesper. 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 <laughs> The Hesper shawl. Okay. We showed you the blue one, right? Yes. So now how about this one next? That's a good one. This one is Fawn and Ebb and Flow. This will speckle out like that. This next one is Raven with Beats and Bears. Whoops, I just lost a, lost a skein, but that's how that will speckle out. Let me take that back. This next one is Raven as well. And this one is with sugar and spice. This has a bit of a melon hue. As you can see, the versus is melon and gray with the black. And that's how that will speckle out. I like the fact that you have a background of the main color and then you have the background of the contrast color. So it's almost equal play which is fun. Uh, this next combination is charcoal, and we put that with tea and shade, which is an interesting that's name. A, yeah, that's an interesting name, tea and shade. I was, there it is. I like that one. That's a fun one. Thank you, Pam. This one's great for denim, denim jacket. This one is lake, and we paired that with alive and well. Let's see. And there it is. And then we have these next kits are done in Weld, which again are on sale, but we paired these kits with Spiral Grain. Spiral Grain is a yarn from Earth Yarns. Uh, it's a sport weight and it's tweeted and very subtle. So we did Juniper here and this is with Rainbow Eucalyptus. That would be a nice neutral. This is a, quite an autumnal kit. This is Barn Red, and we paired this one with Ginkgo. Super fun. This next one is called Weeping Willow, and it's got a beautiful shading in there. And we paired that with Tobacco, so that'll be really fun. There you go. And then we have Mustard paired with Sycamore which is another pretty combo for and the mosaic. It that's it. And that's it. These are our kits for the beautiful Hesper designed by Amy Christopher. And it is a, a triangular. triangular shawl. Correct. Although it doesn't look at, like it here in the picture. She has the two points uh, draping forward, but it is triangular. It's, uh, what is the width? It's 85 like this and 85 wide 35 and, at the deepest point. And in the back, the depth is 35. Yeah, I'm going to bring this picture up because it's such a pretty picture. Super of pretty. The shawl, so you can see what it looks like. Isn't Very pretty? pretty. Yeah. It's Love almost it. like interlocking lines or whatever. It's you know cute. what it reminds me of also? Like a kaleidoscope. You know when you zoom in? Yeah, when you, when you turn them. Yes. <laughs> pretty anyway Too funny um i was gonna say it it's on discounted until monday night but but when you see this that'll be over <laughs> oh oh well Maybe sorry we do a post sorry um, um what else so the pattern see? is by amy christopher's correct uh so is it savory savory it is savory, savory knitting mm -hmm. on ravelry mm -hmm. and uh please let us know if you had fomo this weekend Oh, yeah. Let us know what you worked or on. Or if you went to Rhinebeck, tell us what you got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Make us jealous. <laughs> yeah, there you go. What was one thing or what was your favorite thing that you saw there? Oh, there you or go. That That's you a good did. question. That's like, like, what was the best thing you saw? Like, it could be... I feel I, like seeing people, like the connection that, that's true. has got to like really trump everything. Well, I mean, I think in some cases people saw people they know, but a lot of times you know people, but you, you've never seen them in person. Right. So you know them from online, but you don't know what they look like. Right. Right. Who was they saw a case like that? Who was it? Oh, it was Ruby and Roses. She met this woman. She's in a crochet for her. So it's not like, so she, she had... 
somehow they she missed her and then they they eventually connected which was fun Very you know, sweet. but but um um yeah i guess that, i mean could be you you know someone i saw someone from long island they waited for a half an hour on that line to get a rhinebeck bag you know how each year is a different oh bag. yeah what was the design this year i didn't I see saw it. it it looked like um i couldn't even tell you there was a a sheep or something involved in it well, they usually that is. was cute it was a cute design okay. though I, I don't remember now but it was nice. cute but i'm sure that uh, there were lots of things there i'm sure can't wait to hear our peeps they'll be coming in in dribs and drabs <laughs> tell with about show it. and tell exactly. exactly anywho all right everyone thank you so much for joining us yep and uh we'll see you next week absolutely have All a right. great knitting week there you go crafting crocheting bye